going on guys and welcome back to the channel if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before consider subscribing it's free and it helps me out a lot also check out some of my videos I build custom computers parts reviews, you teardowns, builds, you name it. Uh, I like dealing with computers and technology and stuff. And that's basically what I oriented my channel around. Uh, but what we're really wanting to know is about the money. How much money are you making off of YouTube? Well, subscribers mean nothing when it comes to actually making money on YouTube. Views is what counts. Views is what says everything about you. I could have 1,000 subscribers, but get millions of views. Okay? And I'll make more money than somebody that has millions of subscribers, but is only getting a couple thousand views. Because for every thousand views, you get paid an RPM which is basically an average percentage. So my RPM, it's the revenues per mile and it tells you how much you earn per thousand views. So in the last 28 days, I averaged $1.83 for every thousand views that got seen, all right? Now it can be different, different videos, um, calls for different you know it, it's all different none of it's set in concrete and this can all change overnight and that's kind of a scary part let's take it to seven days if we go to seven days you can see that in the last seven days my rpm was significantly higher so for every thousand views i was paid on average of three dollars and 22 cents which is good um, the higher that number the better off you are I was looking at other youtubers um, their RPMs could be like $25 or $18 or if you're a PewDiePie it's like $110 so you know of course the more you go the more you make but it's all about the views and it's all about the videos um, your playback CPM that is how much money advertisers has spent on your channel so if advertisers in the last seven days have spent an average of $14 I made back an average of nine dollars but do not forget if you make a hundred dollars YouTube is going to claim 40% of that money right off top you have to pay taxes you have to pay fees you have to pay unemployment um, you have to pay unemployment see here government state and you got to pay somebody to do it I mean so your chunk of money gets real small real quick but it's all about the views now I've only been at it for about a month now I've been at it for about 14 days Let's go in my top earnings here. So let's see here. I got a couple of top earners that do really well for me. Um, like for instance, taking apart a Wi-Fi camera, my base CPM, which is how much investors have spent on that video so far is $123.60. I've only made 68 cents of that money. So investors have spent $123 in advertisement on my video and I've only made 68 cents of that. But the next video I made 63 cents, 60 cents, 53 cents, but that is all based on a seven day period. So yes, the more videos you have, the more money you can make. Think of your video as like a fishing pole. You're trying to catch fish. The more fishing poles that you can throw out there, 
the better are that you are going to catch a fish, right? So each fish, each fishing pole for me brings me, let's say, a minute. If I throw out 50 fishing poles, that's 50 minutes that I get. But it don't always work like that. Some videos will do a lot better than other videos will. And that's usually just the hands down guarantee. Um, that's, that's just the way it's going to go. But I've noticed that you have to pick one subject to talk about in YouTube. You have to pick one subject and deal with it. I kind of bounce around a little bit. Uh, my videos go, you know, from left to right, but I try to keep in the same general subjects. Um, if you've been watching my channel long enough, then you know um, that I kind of talk mainly about technology, but I also dabble in two or three other kind of side, um, you know, subjects that I like to do and bring it into it. My average view duration is between 25 and 34 years old. Which is interesting because at one time this was all what was there was that orange. And now I have a green and a purple and a little bit of red showing up. Which is good. That shows that the channel is growing and that's what you want. Uh, let's see your subscription status. Alright, you guys want to see something kind of funny? If you go into, let's see here. I believe it's sub subscription status. Uh, and you look at, uh, wait a minute, let's go in here. You can actually see how many subscribers you have lost over the, um, over the course of your channel. Um, I believe last time I looked at it, I'm not sure where it was, but I lost, I've lost about 585 over the last three years as I've been at it. Well, I guess that's not bad. It could be worse or or not at all, you know what I mean? Um, but I've noticed that sharing a video on Facebook and other types of social media yields me a average percentage of uh, on that video. Duh. More people see it, the more money you make. That's just the way it goes. But you got to remember that YouTube's going to take 40% and then you got to pay taxes and fees on all of that. After $100 is made, they will then send you that hundred dollars after you make six hundred dollars they will then send you a 1099 form and this is all through the AdSense partner program but this isn't how you make your money the way you make your real money is through you know like uh, what do you call it monetization of like your merch or you selling, you know, yeah, selling merch or like manufacturers will pay you to review your products, stuff like that. Those are all good ways of making money. The AdSense is just there to kind of help. Um, I've never heard anybody getting rich just off the AdSense unless, well, unless you're PewDiePie or Linus or somebody and you got millions of subscribers, then you're really not worried about it because the actual subscriber base can support itself um but it's really just about the money and the views guys there's not too much you can say it's pretty simple straightforward stuff more views more pays um but like i said you get paid on every thousand views and that can change all the time your your the amount of money that you make will fluctuate all the time. Kind of think of it though like a snowball. You roll a snowball down the hill. Hopefully that snowball picks up more snow and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and lands in your pay. Right? Lands right on your paycheck. Right in the bank. Chick ching That's what you want it. But you do got to pay taxes and all that other crap. Unemployment and all that. Um, so, you know, unless you're making two or three thousand dollars a month alone in AdSense revenue it's really not worth it um, although I have noticed that talking about um, money and things like that yield better uh, talking about um, you know vapes and stuff that doesn't do you any good if you talk about vaping or growing or anything like that immediately you get demonetized if you talk 
um, or if you cuss within the first uh, minute 50 of your video, that can cause you to get demonetized. It just, you got to be careful with it. There's also a second type of revenue called your YouTube premium revenue. Um, I haven't quite figured out what that is. It's just another source like people, I guess, who have YouTube premium or whatever. Um, I've only made about 22 cents off of that in the last seven days. Um, so far, though, my grand total in revenue in a lifetime, uh, it's about 23 bucks. So in the last 14 days or so, I've made about 23 bucks. And that's not bad. I only got 1,000 subscribers. So I can kind of... I can multiply that and kind of get me a ballpark number, but who knows, your views might do really well this month, and then next month you might not do so well. So, you know, your figures didn't count for the day before, or for the month before, you know what I mean? So you, it, it, it changes every day, all day. Um, but that's basically it. If you guys have any questions or any comments or anything, ask me. Check out my channel and subscribe. I appreciate you guys.